Hello everyone. Today uh, we will discuss uh, traffic light program. So our aim is our aim is to control external traffic light. traffic lights system with 8086 micro processor okay so basically in this program this is your uh, traffic light system so this is your uh, traffic light system 0 1 2 indicate some leds so in this case in this traffic light system zero indicate this is a zero indicate red light one uh, is used for uh, yellow and two is used for green and three is used for red light four is is used for yellow and five is used for uh, again green light six is uh, red seven is yellow eight is uh, green and nine is uh, Nine number LED is uh, red. A number LED is uh, yellow, and B uh, B number LED is green. Okay, so basically these are the control boards. Okay, so this is your traffic. Uh, this is your LED number zero, one, two, three, four, up to B, up to B. Okay, B means uh, total uh, three colors. One, two, three colors. And four sides means total LED is three into three into four. Total LED is twelve LED. You twelve uh, LED is used in this traffic light system. Okay. So in this uh, uh, in this case uh, we have a zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, four, ten. We use uh, A in hexadecimal, and B is used for eleven. Okay, so total twelve LEDs. Okay, so in this case, zero is uh, used for red, and uh, three is uh, again red color LED. Six is again red color LED, and uh, nine is again red color LED. Okay. So suppose uh, you uh, want to all uh, red LED is uh, on turn on means uh, give the high signal to the high signal to zero give high signal to zero high signal to three high signal to six and high signal to nine okay uh, if you give a high signal to nine six three and zero you are all Uh, red color led is turn on okay and rest of zero this is your this is your bits for or control boards for all red all red led turn on Turn on. So basically, this is the situation. In this situation, all uh, red LEDs is turn on. All red LEDs is turn on means no tra traffic movement allowed here. Okay. So in this case, state of each LED. State. Of uh, each LED, so one high means one uh, is used for LED is turn on. LED is turn on. 
zero means L E D is turn off. Okay, and uh, in this case, uh, it uh, it uh, consists uh, to uh, consist of twelve LED uh, with uh, animation of car moving, uh, car moving. Uh, in the in direction where green where green LED is activated okay so movement is allowed uh, only where green LED is activated okay activated means uh, uh, green color LED is turned on so in this case suppose uh, eight and two LED is turn on means green LED is turn on means up and down movement is allowed here and left right movement is not allowed here in this case suppose uh, you turn off these uh, 2 and 8 number LEDs turn on 6 and 0 means red color LED is uh, uh, turn on so up down movement is close here and uh, turn on B and uh, 5 number LED means green color LED is turn on means left right movement is allowed here ok so uh, here we make a uh, some situation according to the uh, situation we turn on LEDs ok so this is your uh, uh, variable situation in this variable we define uh, these uh, control words so start with the first situation so make a situation this is a first situation in first situation first situation second this is a situation first and second si this is your s1 and this is your situation this is situation ok in s1 again make uh, mark uh, number here this is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 a and b ok uh, this in this variable uh, define this situation so in, in this uh, uh, in this uh, variable 2 3 2 3 is high 2 3 is high means 2 high 2 is a uh, green color 2 is a uh, green color 3 high means uh, 3 is a uh, red color 3 is a uh, red color 2 uh, 2 high 3 high then uh, 8 and 9 is high 8 8 high means uh, green color 9 high means red color ok so uh, 2 and 8 is high means uh, in this case movement allowed or uh, movement allowed in this direction ok so in this case up down movement is allowed and uh, left right this is a uh, right and this is a left so in this case left right movement is not allowed in this situation move to the uh, next case this is a 
this case situation and this is the next case okay in this case again mark the number 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 a and b okay so in this uh, as in this uh, s1 variable uh, these are the control uh, words so in this one uh, one is high and three is high one is high means one is high means yellow color one is high means uh, yellow color three is high means red color four is high means again yellow color and uh, seven is high means again yellow color and uh, next is uh, nine is uh, high means red color and a is high means yellow color so in this uh, situations all uh, yellow color is uh, turned on and along with uh, uh, along with three is high three is high means red color three is high means red color and uh, next is uh, seven uh, seven after the seven nine is high means red color okay so in this uh, uh, situation this this situation come uh, just uh, uh, this situation so in this situation what is the mean of uh, yellow light is here uh, uh, mean of yellow light is here so in this case uh, uh, this yellow lights indicate your uh, up down please stop your vehicle this uh, very few time is uh, uh, left for uh, up down movement okay and this uh, uh, yellow light along with a uh, red light means please turn on your vehicle engine because uh, after some after a few seconds uh, your uh, left uh, right movement is allowed here okay so this is your s1 s1 is next situation move to the s2 so in s2 again down, uh, write down the number 0 1 2 3 4 5 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 a b okay so in s2 uh, 0 is high 0 is high means red color 0 high 5 is high means green color 6 is high means red color and uh, 6 is high then B is high B is high means green color ok so in this situation uh, your 5 5 is high and B is high ok so in this case uh, it's uh, this situation shows your up down movement is uh, not allowed here up down movement is uh, not allowed in this case and left right movement is allowed here ok so this is your S2 variable and move to the S3 in S3 again write down the number 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 a b okay so in this case this is the uh, s3 in s3 this is the uh, s3 in s3 zero is high zero is high means uh, red color and zero high and uh, four uh, five and six high five means green five and uh, six hi is high Okay, uh, 
uh, 5 and 6 5 is uh, green and 6 is high means uh, red color ok so basically uh, both uh, uh, codings are same so this is the same situation ok uh, 5 means green color B is high means green color and red color so I am already discussed this S3 move to the S4 uh, in S4 0 is high means uh, red color just uh, write down the number 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 A and B so in this case 0 is high means red color 0 high and uh, 1 means yellow 4 means yellow 6 means red ok so again in this situation all yellow LEDs is high so 1 is high 4 is high and 4 is high 7 7 is high and next is A A is high so A is high so again uh, this is the uh, uh, next situation in this situation uh, in S4 uh, in this case uh, again yellow light means uh, your left right movement is uh, uh, allowed only for few seconds so this uh, yellow light indicate please stop your vehicle immediately and red uh, light along with the yellow light means please turn on your engine because after few time or few seconds uh, your up down movement is allowed ok so this is the last situation ok so in this program uh, we fetch this situations one by one and move to the our output port and according to the this uh, uh, control uh, bits your uh, LEDs is turn on and turn off then uh, we follow this sequence so your traffic light is turn on and turn off and according to the uh, traffic uh, uh, according to the traffic you increase your delay ok so start with the programming so our first instruction is move ax comma all red ok so this all red is your variable and this variable is defined here ok so basically in this variable uh, we call this variable ok so when we execute uh, this instruction means uh, this all variable uh, data move to our ax register ok and uh, next instruction is out for comma ax ok uh, basically in out instruction uh, suppose uh, this is your microprocessor uh, this is your microprocessor and this is your accumulator this is your ax register uh, so in this case uh, in this case uh, suppose uh, this is your traffic uh, in your traffic light system ok so this is your traffic light system uh, this is your traffic light system hardware ok so in basically in your uh, out instruction this is your microprocessor microprocessor uh, connect with uh, input output peripheral so in this uh, instruction uh, we have a uh, output uh, input output pins so here our input output pin 
suppose this is a uh, uh, zero two so sorry this is a uh, one two three and four so this is a four number pin and this uh, microprocessor connect with this input output peripheral devices okay and this four number pin connect to this hardware okay so when we execute this instruction uh, uh, move, uh, move ax comma all red means this bits this bits means uh, 0 uh, 1 0 0 1 ok 1 0 0 1 means this is a uh, 1 uh, this 2 4 and 8 means this is your 9 and this is your 0 0 1 means this is 4 and uh, this is a uh, 0 1 means this is 2 okay so in this uh, uh, and this is 0 okay when we execute all red uh, instruction so your uh, ax content is uh, your ax content is 4 9 and 0 2 okay so mm, when we execute all red comma uh, move ax comma all red means your ax content is uh, 0 to 4 9 okay and uh, after the uh, move to the uh, after uh, move uh, next instruction out 4 comma ax means uh, data available in your uh, accumulator move to pin number 4 okay so this bits available at pin number 4 and this uh, this is hexadecimal value uh, so this information available at pin number 4 okay according to the this uh, uh, data your uh, 1 0 is high 0 is 0 is high and 3 is high 3 is high 3 is uh, high and uh, 3 is high and uh, next is uh, 6 is high 6 is high and 6 is high and uh, 9 is high 9 is high ok according to the this situation 6 9 3 and 0 is high means your all red color LED is turn on your all red color LED is turn on okay uh, move to the next instruction next instruction is move uh, SI comma offset situation when we execute this instruction uh, so in this uh, uh, in this instruction offset address of this variable okay offset address of this variable move to SI register okay so suppose uh, you store this situation variable uh, uh, variable at 23 memory location 0, 0, 0023 memory location okay so when we execute this instruction means uh, content of si content of si is 0, 0, 0023 okay so basically in this instruction offset address of this situation move to source index okay next instruction is move ax comma si means uh, this is si address means si address indicate this uh, uh, location so content of this memory location means 23 memory location move to ax and in 23 we save this bit so this bit move to our ax register okay so content of ax is this is a 0011 means this is a 4 plus 8 is 4 plus 8 is 12 
so 12 written in hexadecimal hexadecimal is uh, value is 12 uh, written in hexadecimal means uh, c and this is 00, zero means 00, zero and this is 11 one, uh, one one means 2 uh, plus 1 is 3 and this is 0 so when we execute this instruction means our si value is changed si value is changed means uh, si value is 0 c and 0 3 okay and after that uh, move to the next instruction next instruction is out 4 comma ax okay when we execute out instruction in out instruction out 4 comma ax means content of this accumulator uh, move to this uh, port number 4 okay so here available this data 0c okay basically this data is this okay according to the this situation your uh, Uh, your first and third first is okay according to the situation your uh, first first is high and uh, 3 is 3 is high 3 is high 3 is high and uh, 3 high 7 high 7 high and uh, 7 high 9 and a is high 9 high and a is high okay so in this case and 4 is high ok so in this case again this is a yellow color yellow color yellow color and uh, yellow color and 9 is high means red color and red color ok so this situation is uh, generated here ok move to the next uh, instruction next instruction is uh, move cx comma uh, for ch okay basically suppose uh, uh, here we give a 5 second delay so for a 5 second delay uh, we write uh, 5 uh, 5 second uh, uh, 5 second into the microsecond is 5 million okay so right this is 5 million 5 million write down in hexadecimal is 4 c 4 b 4 0 okay this is your hexadecimal equivalent value for a 5 million microsecond okay so uh, in this case your higher bits this is your higher bit higher bit stored in our cx register and this is your lower bit lower bit stored in our dx register so this higher bit is stored in cx and lower bit is stored in our dx register okay suppose you want to uh, you want to give a two second delay so write down two in uh, two in two in uh, hexadecimal form and this hexadecimal equivalent value move to this register okay and call a call a wait function or delay function this is your wait this is your wait function basically int uh, here uh, we call a interrupt 15 okay interrupt 15 h is used for wait function okay so basically uh, this is your interrupts okay so this is your 15 uh, this is your 15 h interrupt okay 15 i and t 15 h is your interrupt 
in 15H interrupt we call this 86H 86 is used for weight function okay suppose we uh, call uh, interrupt 15 along with uh, uh, along with uh, 83H means event weight uh, call uh, in INT 15H with uh, uh, 87H means uh, move back uh, move block uh, okay so these are the uh, format for intra 15 and intra 15 uh, used with 86 h means this is your weight function okay so here so here So here uh, wait function 5 second wait or delay is generated so your uh, 5 second wait is generated and uh, after the 5 second uh, move to the next instruction next instruction is add si comma 2 ok when we uh, execute add si comma 2 means your uh, present uh, value of si is uh, 0023 means uh, add 2 in our SI so 2 23 plus 2 is 0 0 2 5 ok so updated value uh, updated value of SI is 0 0 2 5 ok and next instruction is compare SI comma SIT end ok so this is uh, another valuable variable SIT end so in this instruction uh, compare uh, the addresses of uh, this uh, SI to this SIT end ok suppose the uh, SIT end is uh, written uh, in address check the address SIT end So SIT end is written in uh, 2D uh, memory location ok. So here basically uh, compare the memory locations. So in this case uh, subtract SI value with uh, uh, this uh, SIT end address suppose this is uh, suppose uh, we uh, uh, take any random value so this is a 20 suppose this is a 233 ok so 25 minus 33 is uh, your carry flag status your carry flag status is high in this case ok so next instruction is jump if borrow ok jump if borrow means in this case your pointer move to if uh, borrow is occur so your pointer indicate this next level ok so next level is here ok so your pointer move to this level and uh, this is uh, your pointer and again uh, move as a data uh, of SI to AX register the previous value of SI is 25 so content of 25 is this content of 25 is this move to our so content of Pointer move to this indicate uh, this level. So SI indicate 25 memory location. So in this uh, instruction, content of SI move to AX register. Okay. So content of SI uh, SI is uh, this. Okay. So this content uh, move to our this uh, ax register okay 
and uh, after that content of ax move to our this uh, uh, output num uh, output port 4 and after that give a 5 second delay okay uh, this is a format for 5 second delay and after that again add uh, 2 in our SI means updated value of SI is 27 and uh, again compare with uh, SI to SIT in means again 27 27 minus suppose uh, 35 so again carry flag is high carry flag is uh, high means jump a borrow so your pointer move to again this level and again fetch this situation okay and this situation available at output port 4 and according to the this bit your lights is on okay and at last uh, suppose uh, you move to this line okay Supp suppose si value indicate this uh, sit in address so in this case uh, in this case suppose this is 35 si indicate si indicate 35 and sit in sit in is also 35 so in this case uh, your carry flag status carry flag carry flag status is 0 so in this case jump borrow instruction is not executed here okay and move to the next line next line is move si comma offset situation okay so in this instruction uh, again your uh, si value is reset reset uh, means uh, this first situation this first situation offset address move to si register means again uh, your si uh, initialize with 23 memory location okay and after that move to the next instruction is jump next so your pointer move to this next level and again fetch these uh, uh, this instruction and according to the this instruction your lights is turn on and turn off and according to turn on and turn off your traffic is allowed here okay so move to the programming this is all about program click on uh, emulate okay, click on emulate okay so first uh, this is uh, this is our original code and uh, this is a flag status this is a flag status and uh, this is a traffic light okay is a traffic light animation okay first instruction is move ax comma all red so when we execute this instruction means all red uh, first check the va all variables so click on view variables so situation variable uh, this is a situation variable situation variable is uh, 0 3 0 ch okay so in this case first we call a uh, all red okay so all red this is a uh, all red okay uh, this is a uh, all red line okay so call this all red so all red situation move to our ax register okay and after that uh, when we execute uh, next instruction is out 4 comma ax so this uh, this in this situation move to our this situation move to our or uh, this data available at uh, our port number 4 okay when we execute out 4 comma ax so this is accumulator data ax is accumulator data available at port number 4 okay 
so in this situation all red means all red light is on okay and traffic is stopped here okay move to the next instruction next instruction is move ax comma si means uh, next instruction is move uh, si comma offset situation okay so in this instruction uh, this is the situation variable so in this instruction uh, offset address of this situation variable move to si okay so your si indicates 23 means situation defined at 23 memory location okay move to the next instruction next instruction is uh, move ax comma si means content of this si move to ax register and content of si is this data okay this data move to our ax register okay so data is 0c 03 and 0c okay so write down this hexadecimal equivalent so hexadecimal equivalent is 0c and 03 okay next instruction is out 4 comma ah okay when we execute this instruction means content of accumulator available at port number 4 okay content of uh, accumulator available at port number 4 so according to the this situation okay 3 4 uh, 2 3 2 3 high and uh, 9 uh, 8 9 is high 8 9 is high okay means red red lights high here and green lights is high here so up down movement is allowed left right movement is not allowed here okay move to the next instruction next instruction is uh, uh, is used for a 5 second delay so in this program we uh, write a 5 uh, a second into the 5 uh, million microseconds so 5 million microseconds written in the hexadecimal and this hexadecimal value stored to in this register as the higher bit is stored in cx lower bit is stored in dx register okay so when we uh, execute move uh, cx comma 04 ch means this value move to cx register and this value move to dx register okay so this is cx and dx value okay and again call this uh, weight function so here call weight function so here 5 second stop okay and again highlight this single step after the 5 second and uh, move to the next instruction is add si comma 2 means this is your source index source index uh, address uh, increase by uh, 2 number so value is 25 and next instruction is compare si comma sit in so uh, in this sit in value is high sit in address is high compared to the situation so carry flag is high carry flag is high means uh, borrow occur so next instruction is jump if borrow so borrow is occur so your pointer move to this next level pointer move to this next level and again fetch data from si si data in si indicate uh, 25 to so 25 address uh, data move to our ax register okay and uh, this data move to ax register and uh, next instruction is out 4 comma ax means content of ax available at port number 4 and according to the this instruction uh, this is uh, 0 1 3 so in this case 1 is high 3 is high 1 is high 3 is high 4 is high 7 is high and 9 and a is high means uh, all uh, yellow color LEDs and red LEDs, LEDs high. So in this case, uh, we warn our vehicles, please stop because our next size movement is allowed. Okay, and again give a five second delay. Call interrupt function. Okay, wait for five second, and this single step is highlighted. After that, okay. 
next step is again add this SIT into 2 so again uh, your SI increase by 2 27 and uh, again compare SI values SIT in again carry flag is high carry flag is high means again jump and next situation is load here okay again okay again as i will increase value is increased by 2 and uh, next uh, next is in this case uh, compare si value with sit in so in this case both value are same okay so sit indicate 2d i have already uh, seen previous so in this case both value are same means your carry flag is not high carry flag is not high means this is a jump uh, borrow instruction is not uh, executed here carry flag is not high carry flag is not high means this uh, instruction is not uh, uh, working here move to the next inst instruction next instruction is si comma offset situation uh, when we execute this instruction means your starting uh, uh, address is lo load in our uh, si means this situation address again stored in our source index okay this is 23 and again call so your traffic light movement is run here okay okay wait for five second again if light movement is allowed wait 5 second and after that up down moment is okay so this is all about traffic light program